Now, I think one of the ways in which I wanted to start off tonight was to point out we, that we live in interesting times. And I think there's a, a good way to point th this out. It was only a couple months ago when there were a lot of people in the presidential fields of both parties that one of the major parties, I wouldn't say which one, had a debate. And here are the candidates. <laughs> you figured it out. Um, and here are the candidates. And at one point in the debate, the moderator decided to have a little fun to ask the following question. Is there anybody on the stage who doesn't believe in evolution? And it turns out, as you may remember, that three hands went up from these individuals. You'll see the three hands in just a second. Um, Sam Brownback, Mike Huckabee, and Tom Tancredo. And later on, by the way, Ron Paul said he'd been confused, and his hand would have gone up too um, if he'd understood the question. So he explained, so it actually were four people on the stage. Now, each of these individuals subsequently explained why they said this. But to me, the most interesting explanation came from Governor Mike Huckabee. Now, early on in the presidential campaign, when it was more of a spectator sport, I have to tell you that Huckabee was my favorite presidential candidate. And what I mean by that is, far and away, most entertaining. Funniest, <laughs> funniest, and I mean that in a good way, wittiest. The guy plays a wicked guitar. Um, he's got a great sense of humor. I enjoyed his candor. I really enjoyed listening to him. Um, and what he did when he explained himself is set right here. And as I read that, something about that explanation as to why he rejected evolution just sort of burned itself into my memory. And, and what it was was he says, you know, if anybody else wants to believe that they are the descendants of a primate, they are welcome to do it. But Governor Huckabee, of course, didn't believe that at all. And I thought about that for a long time. And I actually hoped during the primary can campaign in my state or in New Hampshire next door that I might actually get a chance to meet Governor Huckabee. It's easy to do early on in the primaries. And if I had, I would have gone up to him. I didn't do it. But if I had, I would have said, you know, I really enjoy you in the race. I like your candor. P please keep that great sense of humor. Your speeches are terrific. But Governor, just between you and me, I got to tell you something. Governor, you are a primate. <laughs> And so were your mom and dad. And therefore, you are, in fact, descended from a primate. And evolution's got nothing to do with it. And I could imagine at that point, he would have said, oh, yeah, who says? I mean, who says that we are primates? So, you know, maybe it's that, that, that gosh awful, evil Charles Darwin who did this. And, and, and some people might actually think that. But it turns out Darwin is not to blame for classifying us as primates. The person who classified us as primates was Linnaeus the father of modern scientific classification, who was a creationist. And Linnaeus was such a creationist that in the frontispiece of his book, he wrote, Deus creavit Linnaeus disposui. And that means God creates, but Linnaeus arranges. That's what, that, that's what he saw for his job in nature. Here's a nice picture of Linnaeus here. Now, just in case you doubt me on this, I went to the rare book collection at my school's library, and we got a copy of an original Linnaeus, and I scanned it so you can see it. Here it is right here, and here is his classification of primates, primates, and you can see the very first genus he mentions is Homo. That's us. So there is documentation that, in fact, it's Linnaeus, a creationist, who says we are primates. It has nothing to do with evolution. It is simply a biological fact. Now, the whole